Hello everyone, my name is Joshua Winkins, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over five creative green screen tricks and hacks. Now I call them hacks, none of these are at all groundbreaking, but these are some things that I've implemented into my own video, as well as some of these tips and tricks could help maybe um, speed up your workflow. So let's head over to the first effect. This one is called the video inside text. Now as you can see right here, this is just a black background, and I turned the text the color of like lime green. I did this in Canva, you could, but you could probably also do this in Photoshop. Now, because it's lime green, I think this may also work with light blue, um, but you want it to be lime green. Okay, so what you want to do is head over here to the effects panel right here. You want to head over to keying, and you want to apply the keyer onto it. As you can see right here, there we go. You have created the video inside of the text. So as you can see right here, the video is actually just inside of the text, and that is the first effect. Okay, so the second effect is an effect that I wish I would used a lot more, and that's basically an overlay on top of a green screen. Now you may ask yourself, okay, why would I want to do this? Well, let's say for example you're talking about a topic and you've taken a screenshot of it and then you want to put it on the overlays when you're talking about said product. Well, the only problem is you have to worry about scaling it and all that stuff. Um, it just is a, uh, incredibly time consuming. Now, you don't have to just put like one image. You could put multiple images on, but you can go ahead and put a green screen in the background and boom, there you go. Now, for example, let's say I'm talking about the new iMac. All I have to do is just apply that effect, and that is the second effect. Nothing groundbreaking, but sometimes that can save you a lot of time. Um, if you want to put like multiple images up on the screen, instead of having like eight layers, you could just put them all on a like a green background. Apply the key or effect, and there you go. You have created this effect. The next thing I want to go over is this, I don't know what you really want to call it, basically like a frame effect. Um, so for example, you could do this for Instagram stories, um, just Instagram itself, but all you gotta do is apply the keying effect right there, and there you go, you're basically inside of a frame. Um, now you could create multiple split screens or whatever you want, but that to me is a really cool effect and you can basically mess around with it and create a whole bunch of different uh, templates. Okay, so the fourth idea is a subscribe animation video. Now. You can go across YouTube and just look up like um, Instagram follow buttons, um, uh, YouTube subscribe animations, or YouTube like animations, whatever you want. Make sure you type in green screen because as you can see right here, there is a green screen in the background. Now I cropped this off because um, I had the annotated card. So if that ever happens when you're screen recording it, uh, just go ahead and use the crop tool which is right here. So let's go ahead and apply the keyer effect. Um, and as you can see right there, there we go. Now let's wait for it um, to render a little bit and let's go ahead and play it. As you can see right here, boom, there we go. Now we've created a subscribe animation. Um, and the fifth and last one is basically a video inside of a laptop. Now this could be an iMac, a TV, or a phone or whatever. You want it, now this is not this is not a footage that I recorded. I got this from Storyblocks. Um, so yeah, go ahead and check them out, but you don't have to do it from Storyblocks, you can create one yourself, but make sure you like film your phone, TV, a laptop or whatever with a green screen. So what we can do right here is apply the effect and there you go. You have put yourself inside of a laptop, again it can be a iMac, a phone, computer, uh, whatever you want, but that to me is a really cool effect. So let's go ahead and play all five of the effects so you can see what they look like. As you can see, the first one is the video inside of the text, and then you can just create this cool like image overlay effect. You can also create this video uh, frame effect, and then you can do this with like a subscribe animation, a like animation, Instagram follow, whatever you want. Make sure you just type into YouTube and type in green screen, and then record your computer or whatever with a green screen, and then you can put yourself inside of a computer. Honestly, I think those are some really cool effects. Hopefully these maybe inspired you to create some of your own green screen effects. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. I upload Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials almost every single day. I'm giving away a Google Home Mini once I reach 1,000 subscribers. See you guys on the next one. Peace.